Evacuation of residents started in Donetsk in connection with shelling by pro-Kyiv forces. The shells are exploding right in the center of the city. According to preliminary data, one civilian person has been killed and three more have been wounded. The shelling was coming from airport, which is occupied by pro-Kyiv forces. On 28 of July, Kyiv punitive forces shot a bus which was transporting refugees from Gorlovka. This happened in the town Rosypnoe, Donetsk region, on Belova Street. A three-year-old child named Slava S. was killed in the shooting. Twelve passengers were injured by gunfire. There is an 11-year-old child among the wounded. As I understand, they fired from both ends of the road from the forest, the man said. I could not see the people, I only saw the shots. When the bus was running a booby trap detonated, a grenade exploded, there was an ambush told the father of the killed child. An international highway was blocked in Ratna, Wolin region of Ukraine, by the relatives of the soldiers taking part in the punitive operation. People protesting against mobilization and sending local men to the east of the country also joined the protests. The report by the UN monitoring mission in Ukraine is hypocritical and biased, stated the official representative of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Alexander Lukashevich. Moreover, the document does not contain a demand to stop the punitive operation in Ukraine. With this said, the UN does not notice the facts of use of heavy weapons by the Ukrainian forces, including against civilians, the ministry note.